What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today, we are checking out the epic song, American Pie, written by Don McLean. Now, I've obviously heard this song throughout the years, but today we're going to dig into what in the world is he actually talking about. Guys, if you want to support the channel, become a channel member right here on YouTube. If that doesn't work for you, head on over to Patreon, become a member there, or slide on over to buy me a coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these give you exclusive perks and priority video requests. All right, I'm Amp, so y'all got to help me in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, YouTube family, like I said, we are looking at Don McLean, American Pie. This song's legendary. It's been a long time since I listened to it. Uh, I remember listening to it with my pops driving around when I was younger, but I know it's an epic one, so today we're going to dig into it. All right, let's get it. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. And nostalgia. And I knew if I had my chance, that I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. What a line. But February made me shiver with every paper I'd deliver. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride But something touched me deep inside the day The music died Y'all let me know what he's talking about there, what he's referring to. Is that John Lennon that he's referring to? I know, like, there's all kinds of, like, uh, you know... Not Easter eggs in this, but like, I know there's a lot going on. So y'all got to shoot in the comments and let me know. We got to decipher this thing. This is such a beautiful song, well-written. I mean, it's just, it's one of those songs that just entrenches you in it. So amazing. All right, let's keep rolling. So bye-bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but there the it levee is. was dry. And then good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, this'll be the day that I die. This'll be the day that I die. Is that talking about Vietnam? Y'all let me know. Did you write the book of love and do you have faith in God above? Shoo! If the Bible tells you so. Is that line both kicked off your shoes? I know something about a sock hop back in the day. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's what we're referring to. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how many Easter eggs are in this, but we're just going to dig into it. Well, I know that you're in love with him Because I saw you dancing in the gym You both kicked off your shoes That line right there. Man, I dig those rhythm and blues What a tone.
from you and me Oh, and while the king was looking down The jester stole his thorny crown The courtroom was adjourned Y'all gotta let me know what that section's about. I have no idea what he's talking about. I love the use of descriptors and imagery, but I feel like everything in this song has a specific meaning. So yeah, y'all let me know. The book on marks, the quartet practiced in the park, and we sang dirges in the dark the day. The that bass line is I love that. We were singing. day that I die. Help the skelter in the summer swell through the birds who flew off with a fallout shell eight miles high and falling fast. Help the skelter. foul on the grass. The players tried for a forward pass with the jester on the sidelines in a cast. And this is wild. I feel like we're going from baseball to football to a jester to I don't know what's going on, man. Like I said, y'all got to let me know. I know this song goes hard. I know it's a great melody. I know it's a feel good tune and it's singable as all get out. This might be one of the most singable choruses of all time. So, yeah, so good. Now the halftime air was sweet perfume while the sergeants played a marching tune. Is that the Beatles reference? This song, for one, is an excellent tune, and I am curious, like, y'all gotta help me out. I know I said that before. I'm curious to know what all these is about, but I've heard, and I don't know if this is true, that they've done, like, dissertations in college about just this song and the meaning of it. If, if so, that's absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, it's a great tune. Like I said, singable, wonderful melody. Uh, descriptive lyrics and it tells a great story. It's literally everything you could ask for in a tune. I can see why it just hit like no other. Like the sacrificial right, I saw Satan laughing with delight the day the music died. He was singing bye bye Miss American Pie drove my Chevy to the levee but the levee was dry Love this shift. I met a girl who sang the blues, and I asked her for some happy news, but she just smiled and turned away. I went down to the sacred store where I'd heard the music years before, but the man there said the music wouldn't play. Ooh. 
gave those goosebumps. And in the streets, the children screamed, the lovers cried, and the poets dreamed, but not a word was spoken. The church bells all were broken, and the three men I admire most, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, they caught the last train for the coast. The day the music died. What an amazing verse! And they were singing, "Bye, bye, Miss American Pie." Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, "This'll be the day that I die." Shoo! This'll be the day that I die. They were singing, Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, This'll be the day that I die. Wow. I mean, that is just a beautiful song. And it literally takes you on a journey. Absolutely. I haven't heard that sucker in years. Like I said, I used to listen to it with my pops when I was young. It definitely brings back nostalgia. Uh, y'all let me know where y'all was at in life when you first heard this song. And y'all got to shoot in the comments and let me know. Break down the verses for me, man. That that down That down verse... That might be one of the best verses ever written. I mean, just excellent, excellent lyricism. Yeah, absolutely love that. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, if you stuck around, thank you so much for joining me on that one. Hey, that was a beautiful song, man. So epic, and it gives you goosebumps. And definitely for me, it brought back all kinds of nostalgia to when I was younger. Guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. Thanks so much for the love, the support, the encouragement. We are almost at 15,000 subscribers. So if you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. And you know how we do it around here. As always, we'll see you on the next one.